Hey folks, this is Tracy with Scrappy's Rustics. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upcycle this dirty, dingy, no longer able to use rain boot. Kids rain boot. Oh, this is so cute. We only used a couple of products and uh, we achieved this look. Of course, you could make it any color you want and really do anything you, you want to it um, as far as molds and embellishments. But uh, don't discard just anything. I feel like we can upcycle almost anything. So I've got my grandson's um, no longer usable rain boot. We're going to use some salt wash. We're going to use Wise Owl chalk synthesis paint in the color Time, and that is just an acrylic color cream. Um, and some chip brushes. I don't like to use good brushes when I use um, salt wash because for whatever reason they get really funky. Somehow the, the paint and the salt wash ends up high up in your brushes and it's just it's just easier to throw them out than uh, try to wash them. You're supposed to use a 50-50 mix when using salt wash. However, I don't ever measure. I just kind of dump it in there. Uh, depending on what kind of project you're doing, uh, how much thickness you want. Obviously, the thicker you want it, the more uh, powder salt wash you're going to use. It's, uh, it's a agent you can add to any paint at all. It does not change the color of your paint either. Um, each paint though, like acrylic opposed to chalk paint, it's gonna be a different amount. You're gonna need less when using chalk paint than you would acrylic paint. So just be mindful of that. And the great thing about salt wash is it is it will stick to anything and when it dries and cures, it is rock hard. It's meant to give you like an ocean um, rustic um, dry brush kind of vintage look. Um, you should use contrasting colors. You don't have to, but um, when you put on your second color, you're able to sand it back and bring through the original color, the bottom, the first color, the first layer. So this stuff is really hardy. It's a great texture. It's really great for like a piece of furniture, maybe a table or a dining room table top or a end table top that's been beat up really bad. If you have a lot of imperfections, this salt wash will really... Um, fill in those holes and make it all look uniform. So we're doing, I'm using the same um, container there, no big deal, uh, if they mix together. And I just thought the time was a pretty color to um, put on top of this. This was, like I said, my grandson's <laughs> uh, rain boot. However, we did have a plant planted in it. So there's still dirt. I tried to rinse it out, but actually during this process, it's still damp inside. I put it in the sun, but I couldn't wait and I wanted to do it. So the inside, you know, it's still, like I said, you can actually see the dirt in there and it's still wet. Um, but it didn't, it didn't do anything. I tr I tried to get the other boot because I wanted to make a matching pair. But um, that one had actually had a split in it that was beyond repair. So these have been out in the weather for quite a couple years now, actually. Um, so when you do put the salt wash on, you want more of like a dabbing motion up and down because you're trying to build texture opposed to a, a swiping painting motion. So just up and down. Um, like I said, you can make this stuff super thick if you want and you'll have like high peaks and low peaks. Um, whatever, whatever texture you're going for, you'll kind of know it when you mix, when you make your mix. Um, but the beauty of this is um, it, it sticks to anything and, and something like this. Normal paint probably, if you if you brush normal paint on this, chances are it would not uh, stick too well and end up peeling off. So I had some pre-casted molds. These are from the du uh, DuPond, one of the newer IOD releases. Um, I wasn't sure. I just needed something. I didn't want a lot on it, just a little something. So I ended up using that fern. This fern has such amazing details. It's incredible. I wasn't really sure where I was going with this. Um, usually when you do a mold, you want to have like a contrasting color or wax or paint wash just because it, it brings out all the highlights. So I thought, why don't I paint this and just take my, take a wet wipey or a baby wipe there and, um, just let the resin, the white part came, come through and it was actually perfect. So it worked out perfectly. Um, I will definitely use this, uh, technique. I don't know if it's a technique, but this style, um, in the future, because I really like the look of it. It just dulls the paint down, um, but still shows all the detail. So it's pretty simple process. Um, I currently have this outside. I did spray it with some poly, uh, polyacrylic spray. Um, I need to put a plant in it is what I need to do. But this is uh, such a cute, I, I don't know, I have a thing about shoe and boot 
type containers for outside. I just think they're adorable. I really love to do a, um, I need to get one of the hubs's uh, boots and do like the concrete where they brush it with the concrete. I love that look. So look how simple that is. And I love the color contrast between the two. Obviously it's the same color, but it just looks really cool with it um, taken back. So I'm using Pentart Heavy Body Gel. Y'all, I swear by this stuff. It will adhere anything to anything, especially metals to metals or metal to wood or metal to whatever. Um, it's got a lot of uses. There's a few videos on Heavy Body Gel by Pentart. Uh, it does take a little while to set up. So once I had it on there, I let it set up. But I hope this inspires you to try something like this for yourself. Um, sometimes you got to look at objects um, different from what they are and how can we repurpose them. There we go. I got mud stuck to my hand because I stuck it inside there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my style, I'd love for you to smash that subscription button so you can see more. Check out our website at scrappiesrustics.com. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.